Good morning, friends. Welcome into my home and into my kitchen here at All Things Kitchen. This morning, we have a, another Pick Your Battle. So we are going through some dietary changes here in my house, and um, I love vegetables. Uh, I love most vegetables. My husband has specific ones that he likes. This last grocery round, I bought more vegetables and trying to cook them in different ways and see what he will like and will eat. Um, but we need to cut back on our starches. So that will be a very difficult thing for me. I am definitely a potato, pasta, rice kind of person. Um, and, and he's fine with me having that and he can just have the vegetables along with the protein. But, uh, you know, you don't want to do that to your partner. I'm still going to be making some starches, but we need to cut back on them. And in doing so, I bought some green beans on my grocery order. I do have my groceries delivered. And I thought I was getting about one pound or maybe a little bit less, and I got almost two pounds. So along with all the other vegetables that I got, broccoli, snow peas, snap peas, butternut squash, um, and I know butternut squash is, is like more of a starch, but I, I think it's a healthier starch. I don't, I don't know. Um, and hoping I need to do some investigation, but hoping sweet potatoes are kind of a little bit healthier. I will do some inv investigation on that. But anyway, since we have so many vegetables, I don't want any of them to go bad. They're fresh vegetables. And so I thought, let's pick my battle with the green beans and do something, a way to preserve them in a way that they will last. And I, it's a little bit, it's not quite enough to can. If that was my only resource, then I would definitely do it, but it would probably only fill like two or three jars by the time you get all of them pushed down into the jar. So I thought I would freeze these and I've watched a couple of different techniques and I'm just going to go with the simple one, which is I've already washed my green beans. Now I'm going to cut off the ends and then put them in freezer bags. How simple is that? That's my pick my battle. I don't want to lose my investment of the green beans that I made, made that I bought and I, I want to keep them for future use. So why not go ahead and do this? So I'm just going to bring you down real quick and, and prep some of these and get them into bags and that'll be it. But maybe it'll get you thinking as, you know, when things go on sale, you can buy them in bulk and prep them and things like that. But I'm going to go ahead and bring you down while I chop up some green beans. So you can do whatever size you want. I'm probably going to cut these into about one inch pieces. Um, I'm going to cut off any bad spots, things like that. You want to cut off any parts that come from the plant. So this is where it was attached to the plant. I'm probably going to go ahead and cut off the, the tip and the tail. So I'm going to cut both ends on these. Nothing hard, nothing simple. And just get them prepped. So let's do some time lapse and get these done real quick. Okay, I'm going to go rinse these again and then I'll cut them into the size pieces that I want and cut out any pieces in the middle that don't look good like that one. So 
So I've got my bowl of green beans here, and you can see this is why I didn't can them because there's, I literally, like I said, get like two or three jars out of this unless I did smaller jars, but then it, it just wouldn't be enough. So I'm just going to um, make sure that I drain off any water with my strainer. Put these little pieces that I cut off into my compost bowl. And I'm just going to dry them just a little bit. I'm not worried a whole lot about the amount of water. These have been washed several times, so I know that they're nice and clean. And I'm just getting most of the moisture off. I have these half gallon uh, Ziploc containers. And I'm just going to write today's date on there. I don't know what today's date is, so I'll just put the month. Oop, wrong side, this side. So it's August of 2024. I'm sure these are going to be eaten up in the next couple of months. I know that blanching does help kill off any possible enzymes that may make it start to break down. But that's, and with my understanding, that's with long-term storage. These are going to be eaten within the next couple of months. So I'm going to go ahead, I think, and put them all in one bag. Thought I might portion it out a little bit, but I think one bag's fine. These uh, half gallon bags are gusseted on the bottom, so they work really nice. I'm just going to get as much air out as I can. And put these in the freezer. So friends, if something like this happens to you, that happened to me, I ended up with more of an item than I expected to get. And I didn't want it to go bad. I also don't want to eat green beans three meals a day for the next week to make sure that they get eaten up before they go bad. And I want to be able to have a variety of the variety of vegetables that I did buy. So the others I can keep fresh. They were smaller amounts. This one was too much to keep fresh. So I picked my battle and I'm going to freeze them. So I hope you got some inspiration today about something that maybe this would work for you, picking your battle and deciding what would be the best way to handle it. Um, I, I could have made like some a green bean casserole or, or something and put it in the freezer uh, to have at a later date, but I wanted fresh green beans and I wanted, I mean, obviously they're going to be frozen, but I wanted to leave them in their original state. So if some, some other way of preserving works for you, like putting it in a meal and then putting that meal in the freezer, by all means, do what's right for you and your kitchen. This was what was right for me in my kitchen today. And I hope it made you think about what would work for you. I appreciate you spending your time with me and I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next time. Take care.